<laughs> you know how you can tell when it's summertime in Yuma? And your steering wheel doubles as a branding iron. We're going to wait for the loud motorcycle to drive by. <laughs> A couple weeks ago, I uh, I made uh, some brands for my for my wife. Uh, these were family brands. They uh, her family grew up on the western slope of Colorado, and and they were sheep and, and cattle ranchers. And so they had a cattle brand, just uh, three bar quarter circle. And then he had a um, a sheep brand, which was basically his initials, her grandfather's initials, with the end turned backwards on it. Uh, well, I needed to make I need to make handles and. This is going to be a lesson in choosing the right stock, choosing the right material. I found uh, at the scrapyard, I found some woven wire that uh, I thought, oh, that'll be great. I can pull that apart and I can just straighten this out and stick it onto the back of my brand and then I'll be able to brand stuff, right? I spent more time trying to straighten this stuff out um, than it was worth. So lesson learned, don't, cheap isn't always the best way to go. Um, you got nothing but time and nothing but charcoal or coal, maybe it's okay, but uh, right now for me, straightening this thing out isn't real productive. But we're gonna go ahead and uh, heat it up, work on some straightening, and then we'll, uh, we'll get it attached to the brand. All right, it's looking pretty, pretty warm. You can see it's got a nice warm spot here. So we'll go ahead and uh, take it over to the animal and get it cleaned up. I'm gonna work a little bit. Some of this is colder than others. It's not, um, I didn't leave it in very long. But we'll, uh, we'll start getting it straight anyway. So we're getting there. That, that first part's not too bad, but I'll go ahead and work the rest of it down and we'll get it turned into a, uh, to a handle. Okay, I got uh, two of them straightened out and uh, you know, they don't look perfect, but when you compare them to this, they look pretty good. So let's go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and get the welding cable set up and we're gonna go ahead and um, attach these to the, to the brands. All right, brief interruption from my wife. And she wants a curly cue put on the end of here. <laughs> so here's what I know about that. You uh, forge a, a square, a square, a square point, and then start knocking off the corners. And there's a sort of round point. Next thing I have to do is I'm gonna have to bend it around the horn here and then somehow I've got to figure out how to get this thing. She wants it curled back on itself. So we'll figure it out, I guess. All right, so first we're gonna to try to Get it started, bend it over, and we're gonna we're gonna knock it back on itself, and there you go. Next heat, I'll go ahead and quench this. I'll cool this off, and see if we can't bring that around this way. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see. Okay, I've uh, this is just, I'm actually doing two at once here. So the second one. I've got the uh, tip cooled off and I'm gonna just try to start bringing this around. I'm not sure how to work the horn yet. So 
that's starting to come around. We're going to like so. Straighten it up, and I think it'll be okay. Okay, here's the first one actually I did. <coughs> it's not uh, perfectly straight, but it's not terrible. And uh, let's go ahead and put it on here and see if I can open that up a little bit more. There, that's not, uh, that's not horrible. Straighten it out. We'll call that good. Try the other one now. Learn from my mistake, let's start up higher on the horn. A little bit bigger circle. Quench out that end a little bit. So if I hit it, I don't really screw it up. Let's see if we can't uh, get that bent over a little bit more. Okay. I'm thinking that's a little bit better. Quench out the end. See if we can't get this thing to bend over on itself. Get it up on here again. <sighs> that was a mistake. Call that good as well. He says as he continues to hit it. There you go. There's a handle. Two handles on the end of the on the end of the rod. Here is something absolutely remarkable. Look how uniform those guys are. <laughs> I, I, well, I'd never I'd never be able to do that if I tried. <laughs> Anyway, that looked too shabby. All right, we're going to assume that that's uh, reasonably straight up and down. I don't think it's perfect, but uh, I can bend it. We'll straighten it out. She'll never know. Anyway, let's uh, I'll go ahead and get it welded on there. Voila! <laughs> a 
brand. I think I'm going to go ahead and put some diagonals in here uh, just to just to beef it up a little bit. But uh, yeah, nice and flat. He just warped on me. Anyway, we'll get it cleaned up and uh, straightened out and do the other one. All right. Ah, so close. Just not perfectly flat for branding this wood. That's not terrible. Maybe a little, a little heat and a little adjustment will get that better. But uh, there's the first one. I need more fire. Okay, test. All right. So uh, here they are. They are finished off. Um, brand worked reasonably well, reasonably flat, I guess. Um, this one's still a little bit bowed, but I think with enough heat, it'll just burn right through that and bring down to those guys. And I didn't have enough heat when I was trying to heat them up. So branding irons. Woohoo! So what we learned, we learned to pick better stock. We learned um, uh, make them flat. <laughs> That's what we learned, make them flat. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye. Hey, as always, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, go ahead and click the thumbs up button down below. It really does help. If you'd like to be notified when we publish new content, go ahead and click my channel icon to subscribe. And finally, while you're here, take some time to check out some of our other videos. Have a great day and get out there and do something new today.